You guys remember that game Circle Empires? Well, now we have Circle Empires Rivals. Look at this. This is co-op and multiplayer PvP now available in this beautiful, what you'd call a casual strategy game. The goal of the game is you start in one circle and you want to expand, thus the name Circle Empires. I'll show you more. Today we're going to be fighting off some giant invasion. So it's me and one other player and we're going to have to defend against a massive invasion. Now as you're watching this, you say, hey, this is pretty cool, I'd like to see more. Let me know. You know what to do. And let's get into the action. Oh my goodness, it's multiplayer. 2%? Does that mean we have a 2% chance of victory? He's got an 1185. I don't know what that is, but it's probably pretty good. Oh my god, welcome back to Circle Empires. Now it's multiplayer. Let's get some barbarian workers. Get those guys working on stuff. Uh, looks like we got a hostile empire. Now where's my friend? Okay, he's right here. So this is co-op, but this is Circle Empires multiplayer. It's basically the one thing we've always kind of wanted with Circle Empires is like the replayability that multiplayer provides. So should we invade this hostile empire? It's got a power of 310. It's got a few archers. You'll notice that the graphics are a lot better too. So you know what they say, economy, economy, economy. But I wonder what he's doing. Oh, he's already going into attack. Oh, that... That looks like a bad idea, 2%. Uh, he's attacking a walled city, and his soldiers are getting wrecked. But you know what? Strategy is, uh... Oh my god, look at all these things! I can make an axe giant, I can make spearmen. Hmm, well I remember archers were a really good thing back in the day. So if we just target their archers, that should... We'll just target all their archers real quick. Okay, they've got a tower that's... Everybody get in there and attack this thing. Oh, okay, of course they're building warriors right now. All right, so that means we're gonna need more warriors. How come my towers aren't shooting at him? I guess they're more of an offensive thing, right? So if we pull back... Now, this is an uh, like a, a testing weekend, so I'm certain a lot of the things that I'm very confused about that I'm seeing are just like temporary, right? And they're likely to be changed in the future. But the cool thing about Circle Empires is you start in one circle, and then there's this whole map. Oh, God. Who's this? Okay, we're doing something called a Goblin Empire Invasion. It's a massive invasion of... <clears throat> Goblins. We're gonna target down this building once again. If we had something like a catapult or some siege equipment, it probably would do pretty well. But once we do take this out, let's go ahead and send in some guards. And let's see, my friend here is still stuck here, but what is this? He's got a marketplace. I don't know what that is. Advanced units and building. Oh my gosh, this is totally new to me. Wizard scholars, wolf riders. There's the marketplace. Traits with caravans. I want one. I need a caravan. How does how does one acquire a caravan? Oh my god. There's Kraken heads. There's all sorts of crazy things. Well, I have a caravan, but I don't entirely know what he does. And I've got research options. Life insurance bonuses. 300% three, bigger ransom. Random resource bonus. Okay. This is a hostile empire. Like, look at this. You get a strength rating every time you look at one of these circles. This one, strength of 450. Plus 20% experience for everybody. Okay. Looks like trouble. But one thing we could do, oh, I don't have a land bridge to this castle. I wonder if my archers can assist though. Let's see. No, if I send them an attack, they want to go all the way around. It is co-op, so I could definitely do that. But right now, the way I'm going to want to expand is to the east. Oh my god, an axe giant would be amazing. My allies, yeah, there we go. They're already attacking. Okay, so it's, it's a race. Let's go. Let's go attack. Oh, my axe giant is throwing a giant axe. That's pretty cool. So I'm basically just focus firing, and then I'll pop down more soldiers, and then let's see. What if, what if we hit the mystery box? Do I get a unit? Ha! I got some kind of a merman fish. Now, what I gotta do is get everybody to attack whoever's left, which looks like it's just a simple axe thrower. They were in here, and then there's training dummies, so I could get, like, the big guy here, and I could have him attack all the training dummies. I'll get some of these workers and move them over. Now, a druid sounds like a good idea because friends in the circle get 150% increase to health regeneration, and a catapult would actually be really good to help siege these towers. That's a barracks building, and this is the archery range, and I think either of them or maybe even both can fire back at me. So what we're gonna do is send the melee in first, and everybody else, Focus down that stuff. We'll take out that building first, and they're the yellow fortress. They're, they're the yellow team right here, so they got a few guys that are bum rushing me. Let's go ahead and take that guy out. And focus. Oh, we're doing real good. They cannot repel firepower of this magnitude nor an army. So, 
Remember, our empire needs to grow bigger and stronger all the time. We finally have a greater access to this wooden forest, which is really, really good. So who's left? This last soldier, and then we take this one. Oh, and this is a monsters with a power value of 2.4 thousand. These are orange necromancers. Yeah, the circle's ours. Okay, so one of the things I want to do, we need a wooden wall. All right, so let's get a few workers and populate this area. Or better yet, I'll just get all these guys over here that don't have anything to do. Oh, there is a golden nugget. So I'll leave one worker here. Oh, and the goblins are coming north. Okay, so we're going to be encountering goblins soon enough. Oh my god, here's the goblin invaders. 19.4 thousand. Look at this army. This is bad news, guys. This is what you would call bad, bad news. So a power of 3,000 and 19,000. I'm, I'm what you'd call between a rock and a hard place. How's my team, my teammate doing? He doesn't look like he's doing very good against that guy. So that's unfortunate. I'm really worried about this goblin invasion. Like, look at this. This is a massive goblin invasion. And that's basically the overall objective right now. And I like this. Idle workers. We have so many idle workers. We could get a red dragon. Dragons are very powerful. Yeah, let's just... You know what? Let's go crazy. Oh, and necromancers. Necromancers are one of my favorite units. Because they'll convert the enemy to your side. In these zombies, like this guy here. Send in the infantry. Look at that dragon fire. We're gonna consume all. I mean... If you're the undead, you're probably pretty flammable, right? Now, some of my guys are poison, which is why they're, like, green right now. Now, who's left alive? That should be... There we go. Okay. So, we've taken that, but I'm gonna keep my army up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, my God. Look at the goblins. They're, they're trapping some of our men. All right. What we need is to wall off. Was I not able to wall off? Oh god, I think... Oh my god, this is chaos. So it looks like they sent half their invasion at me. Can I afford another dragon? Because he's definitely doing the thing, man. I, I, I don't know how many men I have left alive. We got giants holding the line here, which is very good. But resources overall are stretched. I, I, I can't tell what's happening. The invaders just took this. They have 3,000... Did they take my dragon? Or did they have one? We just lost a considerable amount of our territory and our army. All surviving units need to retreat. Oh wait, no, those are my units. Okay, that's good. We'll focus down these towers. It should be a pretty quick job with our dragon. Our dragon, I think, won us that battle. I just became like Genghis Khan right now. All right, we're gonna break through this wall, but we're basically just grabbing, it's like free real estate. You know that meme is like free real estate? That's how it feels right now. That's what I'm doing, is just grabbing all the free real estate. Guys, get down here. So we've got, like, one more to go, and then that's pretty much all the circles, except for the final two. Now, this is a Monsters of Two. Now, who are these elfin archers? The elves should join us! Don't you know we've got Sauron in a pen? Man, look at my- look at some of my guys. Let's try to get some really cool ones. Like, what, what's a Splash Harvester? An Ice Hunter? Sounds pretty cool. Let's get some of those guys. Yeah! All right, we did it! There's got to be a building that, like, helps regenerate force or spawns. There we go. Duh. Spawns one tree every 80 seconds. That's what we need. Okay, so I now that I know that, there's so many new buildings. So this is Circle Empire's Rivals, which is multiplayer, right? So it's like, there's a lot of new stuff. Monster strength of 3.3 thousand. Shoot, son. All I need is another dragon. Oh! Oh, we defeated the goblin army. So by stopping them, new items unlocked. Map size of extra large. That's nice. Oh, stop the army desert hunt. Spiders, ice hunters, and wolf riders. Okay. Once more into the breach. So I've got my friend Tucent here, and it looks like I'm on the end again. Why does he always get the good spot? I'm going to need to invade this kingdom quickly. So to do that, let's go ahead and get a few workers. We also, my, my character's special abilities that we start with a bank, which generates money. So that's nice. Yeah, so he's going on already. This one is just a treasure trove of gold. All right, guys, we siege. We start the siege now. They're going to send out their men. So let's go ahead and let's focus on the infantry. Are we winning? I, I, I can't really tell. I think we are. Yes, we rule. Okay, we rule that, but there's still this one guy. I guess if you, if you end on the bridge, you don't get a full... Takeover, right? Okay. Now, how many special units can we get? A wizard scholarly? Ooh, 100% increase in experience. I could also get a wizard, or I could try to save up for a dragon, which wouldn't come anytime soon. Move some of these guys who aren't really working and are idle down to the gold nodes. Focus on them, men. 
Take their army out, gentlemen. So we just gotta deal with the guys in the middle and hopefully our towers help. We've got two mystery boxes, so when we do hit them, they spawn in soldiers. What did we get? Our guys are going super fast. I don't know why or how. The spiders are the one who throw these nets that ensnare my men. Now, where's the bank? A bank costs 400 wood and 400 food. Now, actually, I haven't heard from my friend in a while. I guess he's expanding nicely. He's got, let's see, four circles. And I've got about four circles. I'm actually kind of surprised that I have the same amount. What is gold good for? Huh! What is it good for? Six idle workers. I wonder why that is. Let's get a few axe throwers and then horse archers. Oh my god, look at how many forest archers we got. Okay, so should we invade the bandits? No, we're gonna we're gonna go after the ghost. We'll target the tower down first. Dragon should definitely help with that. Alright. Wow, they, they're turning all of our boys into frosties. Attack the monsters. Dude, spiders versus giant dragon. Who do you think's gonna win, man? Sheila versus Smog. Everyone wanted to see it. Ooh, I got a knight from that one. Okay. Unguarded monsters? Yep, we'll take that. <laughs> I did that, that was kind of rude, actually. I feel like that's not very nice when you're, like, supposed to be co-oping it. So, I wish I could, like, gift someone a circle. Because I just realized that was, like, his avenue of attack, right? And my army is darn near unstoppable at this point. Attack this tower here. Take out this monsters, and then we'll close in on this bandit army. I'm not sure where the, the bad guy bandits are. They're supposed to be... Maybe I didn't select that. I thought I selected, like, another massive invasion, similar to the goblin invasion of the last one. What's in the mystery box? A prince! Let's get our economy rolling. All right, let's see if they attack. Oh my god, they attack, and there go our guards. Defend the motherland! And then we'll get some healers to help that. Okay, so where's the main army? The main army is ready to close in on this bandit force. The rest of us are closing in on this hostile empire, which somehow survived. I don't know why. We've got 11 circles, our friend has nine. Oh, here's the invaders. 33,000, look at this. So he created this circle defender, which is like a super bubble. So he's right on the border with just this massive, massive invasion. Okay, so I'm gonna clear out these bandits and then we've got to siege Sauron again. And then everybody moves in while they're distracted with those archers. Ha, it's a pincer attack. Ha, 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 ha. Oh God, they killed like all those archers though. Yeah, they, they ran in here. Who's the dude with the sickle? Is that my my Oh my god, look at the, look at these idiots. They're trying to get behind me and conquer me that way. I'm moving all of my army to this circle here. And oh my god, they just destroyed my ally, but they split their force. They were 30,000 power. Now they're 15,000. Now who Oh my god. I can't tell what those things are. Were those war witches? Expert hunters? Yikes. That's a big yikes. All right, so I think the first thing we wanna do is go in and take this land so that we can build in it. And the barbarians hold this little fortress up in the upper left. So that way I can garrison it and let 2% garrison this one. I can build buildings, walls, towers. I can protect my stuff and also spawn units in it, which is the key. So I think what we're gonna do is, I wanna show you the power of catapults. And I think one thing we definitely want to do when we can afford it is build a wall here to protect us against the counterattacking knights. Oh, and the walls take a little time. Okay, I like that. That's a little bit of a balancing thing. You can't just spam a wall and be like, oh, I'm 100% defended and almost like cheese strategy that. So that's a nice way to deal with that. I have so many horse archers. So I think that's because they're just wood and gold. They're almost like mercenaries, right? What's attacking where? Whoa, so this boulder tower is firing boulders like I could see that from these circles way up here. Okay, so these guys are gonna invade in 13 seconds. So what we're gonna see is whether they invade us or they invade the invaders, <laughs> interestingly enough. All right, oh look, they're invading the invaders. That's perfect. Now, the, do the invaders counterattack and destroy everything? Because they've got spiders, they've got all kinds of nasty stuff in their army. The place to attack is actually here. The invader force is now like combined again. Oh my God, do you see this? One of these guys has like five lives. It's like this mother spider. You have to kill that spider five different times. Can we get another dragon? Aye, three dragons. Let's get some health generation in this circle, huh? Give me that health generation and maybe some healers too. Just keep all of our units alive as long as possible. So many Mongol archers. I call them Mongols because Mongols employed horse archers and our army consists 
majority of that. So this is co-op. There's obviously competitive multiplayer play that we could do as well. You guys want to see that? Let me know. Okay, 2% attacked. So I've got 13 circles, he's got 10. I think we've conquered all of the known world except for these final two circles, which are owned by the invaders. He's built a siege wall as well. I think I should be able to upgrade mine to stone. There we go, upgraded to stone. And if I want to upgrade it to fine wall, which I just did, oh my god, and we can go even more. 1,500 wood. That's going to take a little bit of time to get. Let's get a prince to rock these these two places, because it seems like there's a decent amount of harvesting to be done back there. Get the war witch. Get a dwarven shieldy boy. So they attacked in, so what we need to do is do a pincer movement. We need to take this gate, take these towers down as soon as is humanly possible. We've taken it. Now let's go in from behind, and it looks like 2%. Oh god, he's getting counterattacked. But I just took the monster's life. <laughs> I took the monster's main area. I, I, I don't... It's hard to tell what's going on when your army is this big, and the enemy army is also that big. We got some enemy spiders up in here, so we'll, we'll spawn in some of the royal guard here. I think that's like the last guy right there. I think this is it. Never mind, the invaders still have this army. My, my friend invaded... I guess he took the brunt of the invasion. He did it. You know what? You did the hard work, my friend, and I'm very proud of you. Cavalrymen in first. I mean, infantrymen. Heavy knights in second. Everybody else, attack those enemies. We've got a spider with seven lives that needs to die. Someone needs to tell the spider ain't no spider cat. You're not allowed to have that many lives. It's illegal. It's against the Geneva Convention. And man, I tell you what, some of my dragons are like, this one dragon, he's like a super dragon. Actually, all my dragons are, are veteran dragons, and there we go. A new item's been unlocked. It's, it, there's a progression to this game. The more you play, the more different things you unlock. Now we've got a mermaid invasion that we can fight. And we've unlocked a new hero, which each circle claims gets one wood haul, which I guess could help us in getting wood, which always seems to be a resource that we never have enough of. So, once again, thank you for watching another episode of Circle Empires. This one is the new Circle Empire Rivals, which we're beta testing, and it's the one that incorporates multiplayer. So that other guy, 2%, was another human being somewhere in the world who was joining me. But let me know if you'd like to see more, if you want to see co-op, if you want to see competitive PvP. If you want me to play with any of my YouTube buddies, let me know who, and I will see you guys in the next video.